too. There was no sound coming from OBS, meaning there was no sound going to my stream. At least no sound from the game, but that's like the whole point. Um, um one second, just got to find my play. I had to re I had to restart my computer. I had everything signed in and now Anytime I have to do this, uh, well, it, it's booty. Anytime I have to do this, I basically have to restart my computer, which of course signs me out of everything. It's a real pain, but we're back. RPG gang, it's time to play some more Near Replicant. <clears throat> and we got our next set of instructions from Popola. Uh, she told us it's time to go back to the Eerie. So we got our handy dandy faith sword equipped. <clears throat> yeah, I never have been a huge fan of this spot, if I'm being honest. Uh, I cannot fathom that village setting up a mercantile. They must have truly opened their minds. Yeah, I have my doubts. Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Home? The place is a shithole. Don't be so nervous, Kaine. We'll protect you. I don't need taken care of. Worry about protecting yourself. enemies tutorial don't we have that already it either feels kind of late or really late for that but then again what do i know all right let's get on our friend here mr boar and let's uh let's go ahead and head on over to the area We want to go this way. Yeah. Not much to sh not much to say except well, we we got a strange letter from the Eerie. Popola did at least about them setting up a marketplace and wanting tourists you know when I think of a nice vacation I don't think of the village where everyone lives in shipping containers and uh, you know screams for the outsiders to go away that's not exactly that's not really a uh, grand vacation spot to me but yeah, maybe that's just what some people are into Oh well, let's go check it out. This is the right way. I always mix this one up. Mm. Everyone will perish. Everyone. Everyone, huh? Something tells me. What's this? There's people. I've never seen a person who lives in the Erie. Make sure you stock up on necessities before heading out to hunt. Come back. Welcome. 
They actually sell soon? stuff. Hmm. A weapon shop, huh? My weapons may not be the. Why don't we go ahead and just get these? Because I'm not sure if I have to wait to get them otherwise. Thanks. And flower shop. Cool. I hope you grow some real. Yeah, me too. All right. So we must have to go this way to see the chief. Mayor, chief, I, I don't know what honorative he uses, but... The guy in the yellow shipping container. Uh, you know what? I keep saying shipping containers. These honestly give me more silo vibes, like... Almost like when this area was constructed. See, that's his silo right there, that kinda... The only one that's a different color. See, this place gives me mad, uh... <clears throat> I don't know. I just can't... Did they take... What's... What's down here? I see a shiny object. Broken pottery. Stay away! What do you got to say, Chief? Uh, hello? We're here from Popola's village. It's all over. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. As cheerful as ever, it seems. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What the hell is going on here? It's a trap. It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Let us ask around. So I guess we have to find, uh, I guess we have to find the silo that doesn't just say one of the catchphrases. There's no, there's no point in living anymore. If you're not, what do you mean if I'm not a shade? I'm not a shade. Unless the shades just kind of hold up here and we're like, hey, we live here now. And I hope that's cool with y'all. Cool. So let's... Here, maybe? Village is finished. Someone's gotta say something. Make it stop. You know, it's just such a... Such a cheerful dynamic in this village. believe in anything anymore it's over for us and for you and the shades attacked again last night the shades attacked again okay right but like but like could you elaborate that would be like a plus I 
think when you break the crates here, you get some nice, uh, some nice, uh, what would you call it? Like, um, you get some nice, uh, leafage. Like, you get some pumpkin seeds, tomato seeds. You get some nice stuff you can plant. The planning in this game, I think, is horribly flawed. It takes real, Everyone. takes a real 24 hours, like a real time 24 hours. Uh, like, it goes off you. the game's clock. I, I think this you. is who we're looking for. You. You. something about that so you know about the letter hmm. maybe I don't I'm not sure you must be a shade <sighs> which is it man <laughs> oh uh, and if I may ask are you friends of Kaine you could say that ah I've heard the rumors here to hunt shades are you indeed our aim is to defeat every last one every every last one I love how Emile's just floating around. Everyone. 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 Oh, I hear it. Where they at though? Vice. Beware, this man is a shade. It's a trap. They figure as much. Possessed somehow. Keep your you guys sure are taking your goddamn time. A thousand orgies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. Want some help? Kaine, the villagers are possessed. But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful. That's a nice, the heavy attack on this one-handed sword is really nice for big bunched up groups. It's almost like fighting a, fighting a group of enemies in like Trials of Mana or something where when they're bunched up, Duran's sword like does wonders. Alright, this, we may need to climb. by this lady. She's a shade. Kinda, you have a free sword with another you have a free hand with another sword no. that, like come on. No. You people are the monsters here. Stay back, kid. Your sister is one of them now. I don't care what she is. She's my sister. Uh-huh. Alright. Don't look behind you or anything. God, kind of pay attention, jeez. This is not what I'm paying you for. As a matter of fact, I'm not paying you at all. People no, are as uh, our partnership runs humans. on friendship. Kaine! Kill them! Kill them now! No! You've got to stop this! We're trying to save you from the shades! Please! You have to stop! 
Emil! We need to get out of here! Kaine! Kaine, get up! Hurry! Stop this at once! Leave us in peace! Oh, gods! Help us! Help us, please! We are chains! See, like, because I can, all these guys bunched up, I can just go to town. Why did you even come here? I blame you for all of this. What? If, I'm helping you guys. Like, what? You know what? No wonder no one likes the airy. The locals are the worst. What's that? Villagers are under attack over there. Who cares? Ow, Bob, that hurt. What are you doing? Emil, watch. All right. Let's top off our health. There's some black mass growing. Uh, let's go. Uh, Hit them. Could those black swirls be? Probably the boss of this area. Why are you here? Everything was fine until you showed up. Cool. And now that you're... I can't tell who you human anymore. Now that you're on a company, that's a whole lot easier. It's not some giant eyeball boss. Gosh, every every game has a giant eyeball boss. Okay. Oh man, it's a giant eyeball boss. By my pages. Is this beast a shade as well? That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! I mean. They were kind of rude to us. Well, let's try it out. Uh, you know what? Something tells me Dark Lance is gonna really I come in handy here. From within the creature. Shades? It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first to waver is the first to die. I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. Get another really good Dark Lance going. Magic. Wait for an opening, because I think, yeah, like Vice just said. Such speed! Can I 
Rex and the boss now. Now, focus your magic on the beast's center. Okay, so that was that did no damage. That was just hit, broke the little bar down. Basically, we have to uh, oh, I'll keep it busy. climb back up this you ladder. You should be able to attack from behind. Go around and get it. Please, hurry. We're, we're, we're hurrying, we're hurrying. We circle behind the creature at once. Six, seven, Move closer. eight. You cannot harm it from below. I have to get up one tier higher. Move closer. I, you cannot harm it from below. I, I get it. I, I, I realize the error of my ways, Grimoire Vice. Please. Escaping to the inner level. I'm coming. Gotta catch my breath. Me too. Careful, Emil. Won't help anyone if we lose you here. There it is. Can you go ahead and just get my dark lance ready? How can it still move? Its combined powers are beyond even my greatest uh. suspicion. Come on.
Nice. What's this? A, a, a cutscene? He's gone. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. Good thing Kaine is just out of reach. So, what what happened? Did did Emil like? <clears throat> what did Emil do? He's not dead, is he? Because I like having him as an AI companion. Oh, Saved us. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I'd all be dead. We owe you. <clears throat> but I... It's all right. You know, I'll I'll wait till they're done. Then I'll say it. out what the sacrifice meant but how we had best me off but wasn't Emil you know doing that coincidental yeah. at best oh <clears throat> um <laughs> so he got rid of the whole airy oh So, and it's like, there's no rubble. It was vaporized. Damn, Emil. Kind of tough. Uh, I'm never going to bother you or say anything bad about you again. So, oh, uh, what I was going to say. Um, I have seen that scene but not this version of the game i've seen it in the ps3 version you know with um the older protagonist and i don't know the the script is the same but i think young near comes off just a little bit nicer and that was pretty rough around the edges the way he put that to emil but adult near is kind of like he says the same words, but his tone is so much more gruff. Found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Yeah, o um, older Nier is a bit more like, get over it. Like, kind of, I don't know, just kind of gruff. Like, come on, man, he's just a kid. I mean, he's a weapon, one of mass destruction, but he's also a kid. Like, come on. Anyway, let's go, uh... Let's go see what Popol has to say. Yeah, um, Emil, they're... <laughs> they probably won't let you into the village now. Just... 
back to life. I'm sorry. Thank you for applying. Hey, Popola. Hey, Popola. Oh, Jinx. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? Have you learned to shut up? No. I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. Some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? You mean the ferryman with the red bag? The red bag being the only thing that separates him from the other guard NPCs besides the voice actor? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. Yeah, we, we can't have that. Now, <clears throat> you know, the people, um... You know, the type of village they have, I don't, they don't get paid for work, I don't think. I think it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, if you operate the this ferry... This feels alarmingly familiar. Ah, I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? Uh, <clears throat> I don't think they work and get paid. I think it's more so one of those things where... I think it's more one of those things where, uh, it's like, hey, run the ferry from, like, this position of the sun to <clears throat> this other position of the sun, and you can live here. I think it's, like, one, one of those. Decimal herb, nice. Say, are you available to discuss a certain sensitive matter? What is it? People are saying a shade has managed to enter our village. I was hoping you could try. A shade? This isn't a very big place. Wouldn't we have seen it by now? I had my own doubts at first. I saw a really scary monster. She saw it too? Apparently. I can't say for sure who's seen it or not. I saw the monster right around here. You did, huh? Can you tell me what the monster looked like? It was over at the river, and it was huge and scary. I didn't like it. Oh, uh, you did Over by huh? the river, huh? The foul tendrils of the shades have finally extended into this village. Fine. Find him and kill him. Will it be that easy? I wonder. What do you mean? Would you be able to simply slaughter the people you lived amongst for so many years? Would you truly murder friends if you suspected them of being shades? I wouldn't have a choice. Jonas not coming back to a village full of those things. When the time comes, I pray you can follow through. If we can't go home... By the river, huh? Where's the river? I figured, uh, they call that the canal. Maybe the river is something else. Oh well, <clears throat> we'll we'll find it. We'll, we won't do that quite yet. find Mr. Boar, and let's zip on over to, uh, let's go ahead and zip on over to the seafront. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, there is a boar. Cool. And a bunch of guys are going to pop up, and I'm going to zip right past them. Oh. 
cool. Let's go check the seafront. Try to find red bag guard uh, ditching work. This ought to be amusing. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Ran away? Mm -hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. Another classic from Grimoire Vice. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's <gasps> actually sort of impressive. I would say one apple, and I'm like, my gums are tired. Oh, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, <clears throat> but I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> oh my god, shut up. All right, all right. We'll help you find him. Uh. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. Why do you agree to stuff like and this? And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for... Really? Is that... Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. I think his brother is a god. Thanks for the tip. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. I can't say I gra I grain you. Blame you, Grimoire Vice. Alright, let's sit back on over to the village now that we talked to the specific the NPC. back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. Lots changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know, hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Hey, it's you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah, he's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using uh. his ferry to deliver letters. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asuka. <clears throat> Grimoire Vice was placed into this game uh, to dictate the thoughts of the player, because I was just thinking that. I mean, it's cool. I cannot believe how many trips <laughs> we have made simply to track down a single man. But it's like, it's alright to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. You say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. 
It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it, it's kind of right, though. It's like, what's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Vice. Um, I mean, if I'm being real here, like... You know, and this is not a knock on this game <clears throat> at all, but I hate things that they put in these kinds of games just to artificially lengthen the game just a little bit. That's like very frustrating to me. What's the point? Oh, we went the wrong way. But like, for example, <clears throat> it'd be one thing too if like, I couldn't just ride a boar from point A to point B, but it's just like a little five minute detour. That's not the postman. Hey, postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off, so I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. Maybe. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. Huge shipwreck at the inlet. Where is the inlet? A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine. Emil. But you guys don't go into towns. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sent something strange in the Ah, uh, there's that calm before the storm Grimoire Vice was talking about. How? Like a shade? Maybe. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Oh. That's, uh, quite the shipwreck. Wonder how that got there. <clears throat> Beached shipwreck. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of wanton decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. Like this one right here? These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. I mean, when you think about it, all planks are covering a rather large hole, but we can probably get in if we move them out of the way. Ah, oh, really? I'm worried about <clears throat> whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. I'm ready. Got my... <clears throat> got my upgraded sword, got my magic, got my talking book, got my underwear clad barbarian, this and my ship floating is in wizard. Condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. <clears throat> oh, we're back to survival this horror place here. This is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's cool. still some oil in it. Nice. We're 
require a key. <clears throat> oh. I saw someone with a red bag walk in there, but it's... Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Unless she's a ghost. Hmm? There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Welcome to the world of tomorrow! What foolishness! I am <clears throat> certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. Grimoire Vice, are you afraid of ghosts? Old key. <clears throat> what is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Old key, not bad. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? Let me guess, out of oil. Or we'll run out of oil. What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Spirited oh, debate. What a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Oh, oh, what was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. Let's go. I almost just instinctively clicked this to turn. This been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Oh god, not flour. I almost just instinctively clicked in the left stick to turn on the pod light. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, <sighs> I expect we will find <sighs> our way to her. That's what you'd like. What's in here? Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's law. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, until the day the re What the hell happened on this ship? We've no time. We've no Alright. <clears throat> so Good thing this ship is incredibly linear. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Don't you have a whole mid-air jump? Hang on, I think I can move these. appears to be caught in a crack in the floor. It would not do to have the ground beneath our feet come undone. <laughs> oh, a thousand gold. Nice. They wouldn't have left without There's that. A breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. By my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. Wow. How could they do something like that? A creed. I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. We cannot change the... We cannot change... That white vase is rather con... A hidden room! 
Oh, delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? Don't touch the cursed treasure. I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Regardless, don't touch the iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. This is why we don't touch iron tools that we find in shipwrecked boats. I shudder to think what evil <clears throat> transpired in this room. This ship of Passageway key. This sh fortunate for us. Now let no more time. We cannot. Hmm. Passageway key, which is probably this way right here. Yep. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Would it not be wise to explore the rooms on the floor above us? Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. <clears throat> which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes, this pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward. inward. So that's all that's in here, it's just the, the, uh, pipe. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah, and the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? The door is warped and unusable. This door will not open. What's in this one? The kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Indeed. This ship's... Yeah, if you're on a boat, you eat what food there is. You're not picky. That's a great way to be swimming home. So is this door still warped? Seems this. What about this way? Oh, damn! What the hell is this smell? Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Oh, gosh, I hope not. I don't like smells like that. <clears throat> Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Is that what the red bag is Let's for? Let's keep searching. Let's see. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Uh-oh. We're moving. But I can't see. Oh god, this gives me... Have you still not found the lantern? We've no alternative. There we go. Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the oh, celebratory no. fanfare oh, no. and light the blasted the thing already? He's gonna light the lantern and the, the thing is... Probably not. <clears throat> I 
God, I'd have to go. I'd have to like get an invite and all that. Is it, is it the same venue it was four years ago? Sorry, I actually wasn't even looking at my chat. I didn't even see that. Oh, absolutely not. I would. I would never do LCQs. Hit the blast thing. Okay, so what awful thing's gonna pop up? Nothing. We're safe. Oh. Oh dear. Look at the bodies. Fall was not the word. We'll see. Depends depends on uh just depends on what my schedule looks like. Is it a Sunday or a Saturday? It's usually Sunday. They are all people from town. And I fear the missing ferryman. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. E. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. I mean, further in, I'd think down, but I guess we're going up. Oh! Hey there, you You guys two. killed them. Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. You're really not looking so hot. Is everything okay? Just don't go downstairs, Emil. You shouldn't have to bear all this on your own. Once things calm down a bit, come talk to me about it, okay? Thanks, Emil. Did you guys find anything on the ship? Some townspeople, actually. But they're all... Well, shit. The floor above us. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let me, if it's, if it's in town, let me, let me message you. Um. But I'd probably be down for that. Um. Next month, you said? Like, when, as in May, right? They seem to be left. They seem. Okay, okay, I get advice. They seem to be letters, but you can't make out the penmanship. Oh, that's like. That's really soon. Yeah, uh, you'd have to let me use everything if I did. Also, you'd have to boot camp me, like, really hard. Like. Yeah, you'd have to boot camp me. I would need to borrow 70, probably 70 cards from you. Uh, unless it's more. I really don't know what's going on in that game. But. <clears throat> so is it like one of those formats where like, I have to think or can I, or like, is it just going to be like brain dead? Because if it's brain dead, that's even, honestly, that's even better. But like. Uh, if I have to think a little bit, I think I'll be fine.
Why does the why does the ship have a mailbox in it? There is no mail. This would be the final room, yes. Okay. Brodo, are you still in the chat? Because if you are, I have a deal for you. The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. Let's go. Must be a... Probably a boss fight or something. I mean, actually, undoubtedly, there's a mailbox there, but... Uh-oh. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad, this is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Did that... what? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I was getting letters out of the ship's post box. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding... I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh, well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? What? So, sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a the line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't- Wait, so is she going to save the postman, or...? What's the deal here? Cut! Camille! We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. Why? The ship is collapsing. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Oh, they're stuck Let's behind go. the... T uh, the perspective kind of they're in the way looks like we can get out through that hole up there oh great He's... I didn't even notice they regenerate all right so oh stupid headset um yeah, so what's the deal here? At least they found a way out. My friends. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> I guess the shades don't care about sunlight anymore. What on earth? Let's whoop it. Why isn't this 
Miss Shay being hurt by the sun. That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain oh, I wasn't going to play that. Hold on, I'll look at the chat in a second. I'm bullet hell. Oh. Is this the big, the big screen? Tentacles with faces on them. Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. This thing is gonna pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now. Kind of like the last fight, where it just spawns, uh... <clears throat> oh, yeah, so, uh, Proto, um, I would not, I would not play Pendulum. Um, one, one Desires, that was, uh, that was enough. One Desires was enough to... Definitely not like that spell counter deck, either, like, um... I mean, if I played anything, I'd play Magician. Definitely not, like, Endymion. Um, but I was kind of thinking about something else. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's good. I don't know what people play. Like oh, two in a row. Was not expecting that. All right. I think we didn't. I don't think we got hit though. But yeah. Um. Now is our chance. Attack with all that you have. Cool, I think we got it. Um I mean I'd love to play Pendulum, but like Um I don't know, that's like I don't know. I don't think I'd touch that Endymion deck with one desires ever. Um and Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge. More? Oh, that kind of gives me vibes of, uh... Oh, what, what was the thing in the Flooded City in Automata? Groon? I think it was called Enki or Groon or something? To think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes! Dodge! I'm trying. I failed. Change my depth. Change my depth. And we'll burn one of those. That thing ain't normal. So stay smart unless you want to get dead. This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. 
direct hit. That was terrible. Oh, come on, come on. Nope. Alright. Is it doing the spear thing again? I did not like the spear thing. That was... The number of spears flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word. If this continues... Hey, over here! Did that thing heal? This guy's important to you, isn't he? Oh wait, are we the bad guys? Oh, is Emil doing the thing? No. Here and now. I don't know. Probably not Pendulum, though. Probably something easy. Oh, is he putting himself back together? Yeah, this actually really feels like the so Gruen fight from Automata. Immortal? The big fish. How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm, I'm really scared, guys. We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it. I think we're supposed to get hit doing? by that. You're gonna get yourself killed! together you disgust me that's a child
so like hmm. yeah uh that was quite the shipwreck One week later. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> Alright, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Uh-oh. Hey, did you find my husband? Well... Yeah. Wait, why are you, is he all right? Come on. He got butchered. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot. Always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. Oh God, this can't be happening. <laughs> so we told them the truth about their mom We lied to the lighthouse lady Now we told this woman the truth It saddens this old tone To think we'll never hear those two At each other's throats again Better get Popola to find a replacement <clears throat> If only I'd gotten to him sooner Damn it Do not let it burden you so lad You did the best you were able We should Well, I gotta use the bathroom, and <clears throat> quite frankly, this has been running on a little bit longer than I thought it would, so as always, if you like Near Replicant, if you like Can't Spring JRPG, be sure to give me a follow, otherwise, I think that's all I had to say, see you next time.